What up, what up, baby? Welcome back to the HSD Nation with your boy, HSD. So, we're going to do stuff a little bit different. Why do most owner-operators fail? Um, we're going to go into why hot shots and all that in the future, but right now, um, this one I decided to talk about uh, the owner-operators. And most of the ones I see that actually fail make the mistake I made. I I got with a company, right? And I let the company help me build my company. Truth be told, um that was the biggest mistake I ever made. When you are owner operator in someone else's truck, right? Like, you're you're not an owner operator. You are. All you are is a self dispatch truck driver. Like, and sometimes they dispatch for you. Like, there's that, but they charge you. So you should be a self dispatch. You know what I mean? So, because when stuff hits the fan, they are ultimately in control. Right? They could say, bring the truck. They could say you you broke the lease, you broke the contract. They could say we can't use you anymore. You either pay for the truck or bring it back. And there ain't a damn thing you could do. There's nothing you could do, right? Um, luckily, I had equity in mine, so I was able to sell mine outright when I was done. But the process of being an owner-operator for somebody... I don't think I would ever do it again, man. Um, like, they just... The, people like that, their whole business model, most of them, is to keep you in debt. Right? Uh, because if you didn't need the debt, you would not be using them to help you get a truck. And now I, I know people are going to say, oh, well... Pay cash and do it on your own. Well, not everybody's as good as you were or are, you know? So, when you start at the bottom, you start at the bottom. So, if I had to do it all over again, I probably would have went a totally different direction, maybe. I don't know, because I really enjoyed what I did. Um, but I definitely would not have uh, bought a truck from a company. right? And I don't care what company it is. Big companies, little companies... You see all these mega, all these mega carriers? This is their business model, right? And the whole industry talks shit on that business model. But yet the whole industry is running it in the owner-operator market. Like, it's allowed in the owner-operator market. It's not allowed over here, but it's allowed over there. When you're an owner-operator, the only benefit you get is if you're good enough you get to self-dispatch like I always self-dispatched that was one thing I was not willing to give up because it's bad enough that they don't care about you enough and they will nickel and dime the shit out of you the shit out of you like that company I was with oh my god dude like there's a reason that company doesn't have owner operators anymore just a reason. Um, he either ran everybody off, stole their truck, repossessed it, you know. And that's what those companies do. They use the own, they build their company off the back of the owner operator, right? And then when the owner operator model does not have enough control for the the business owner, you're out. You can get in this truck and you can be a company driver because I can control your every move and I can not let you go back to your family. Even though they wouldn't do it, they're going to have you do it. Uh, and I used to be a really, really big fan of these smaller companies. But I, I definitely learned a lot. Um... If you have the hustle, you can make the money in trucking even without going all that route. So. 
with that being said, if you are looking to get, if you're a company driver and you do not have 60, 70, 80 grand in the bank, stay put. If you are in one of those deadly leases, buyouts, I mean, and I don't care, it goes from Prime to Snyder to Mom and Pop to Joe Blow, and the best part is a lot of them, they entice you with the big trucks, the nice trucks, the, the long hoods, which they ain't fuel efficient. They don't give a shit, they're not paying for it. Um... There's a lot of issues in the trucking industry. And I've just been watching and watching and watching. And I see so much that there's no reason I'm not talking about it. So, we're going to start talking about it. We're going to bring the heat back to the trucking company. With the brokers, you got to get the right broker. You've got to get the right truck. Like, th this isn't a race. If you race this shit, you're going to lose. So... If you're looking for this kind of content, you're getting started in trucking, car hauling, hot shot, and whatever, or you're just an OD, OTR truck driver that just wants to hear bullshit that you're tired of, you found the right place. So, do you and me a favor, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that ding ding, and I will see you on the next one.